Hi everyone, this is Tanishka and welcome to my channel. Uh, before starting off with this video, I just wanted to thank you all for showing whatever little appreciation that I got on my last video. Uh, for someone who's been so nervous about doing YouTube for such a long period of time, all of that means so much. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, today's video. So I actually put in some efforts in today's video unlike the last one I have dressed up for the video. I have stolen one whole shirt from my brother's wardrobe for this video. That is how dedicated I am. I'm, oh my god, where's my YouTube fan fest invite already? Okay, um, speaking of uh, what the video is about today. So uh, I have been spending a lot of my quarantine in watching YouTube videos. And I've seen so many videos on what you should be doing during quarantine. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I can do that, but that's already a lot like my last video. So how about I do something different? So I decided to do what you should not be doing during the quarantine period. And I don't know if there's any other video uh, that's spoken about this topic. Uh, so if you have seen any other videos, uh, please do link them down below uh, also if there is another video like that shout out to the original creator but I really do not know if there's another video out there so anyway without further ado let's just get started <laughs> The first thing that you should not be doing is that you should not be watching the news all the time. Now, I am saying this because I am a student of media studies myself and we learn how news impacts people, right? And since we're all uh, quarantined at home, we do not have a lot to do. So naturally, our first instinct is to go get updates on what's going around the world. And I think that's nice. Yeah, we should know that what's going around the world, but you should not be doing that all the time because... The news channels are active 24 7 you guys you go turn on your tv in the middle of the night there will be a corona update but that just does not mean that you have to you know get all of the updates all of the time take a break from the news or uh, like i don't know what's your medium of getting news but in my household we are mainly getting news from the television right now because newspapers are not allowed in the society that i live in due to the whole uh, quarantine and the protection measure thing protection measure okay uh, so anyway yeah, so newspapers are not allowed so we are getting our news through the television so i just want to tell you that whatever your medium of receiving news is may it be mobile applications television newspaper whatever it is just give it a break do not watch too much news do not do it all the time take a break or else it's going to get to you some time and it's it's really going to impact your mental health badly so do not watch news all the time the second thing that you should not be doing is do not pressurize yourself to be productive. Now I know what a competition social media has made out of being productive during quarantine because this is the quarantine period. We are all locked down at home. We should be doing the most we can do. You should be making the most out of this period and you should just do as much as you can. I get it. Yeah, it's true to some extent that yeah, we do have a lot of free time and we should be doing new things. We should be doing extra things. We should be doing things that we could not make time for when we were on our daily routines. But that does not have to put so much pressure on your mental health, you guys. It's not a competition. If you feel like taking a break, even in the middle of a lockdown, you are allowed to take a break. Do not let the social media guide your decisions. If you feel like you do not want to do anything today, do not do anything. It's okay. It's completely fine to take a break. Do not let the internet tell you otherwise. It's completely okay to take a break even when you're quarantined and you have nothing else to do. It's okay to take a break. The third thing that you should not be doing is that do not believe every single conspiracy theory that you see on the internet. Now, if you go on YouTube and you search how did the COVID-19 virus come into existence, you're going to get about a hundred theories that all tell you a different way of how the novel coronavirus came into existence and my point is that no one knows for sure that how it came into existence if we had concrete evidence there are bodies in the world that would have taken action against it so i just want you to know that um it's okay to see these videos for fun okay we don't have a lot to do anyway so we can just watch these videos 
but do not believe everything that you see on the internet because a lot of this content is just made to manipulate other people to create conflicts and a lot of people actually have fun when they do this so just do not believe every single thing that you see on the internet it is not all true and authentic the fourth thing that you should not be doing is do not take your personal hygiene for granted uh, i know so many people who started showering once in two or three days because ab kaha jana hai ghar pe hi to baithe hain so guys i just wanted to know if anything this is the time that you should be the most hygienic that you've ever been because literally all that protects you from this whole pandemic situation that's going on out in the world is being clean so just do not take your personal hygiene for granted wash your hands daily shower twice a day not even once shower twice a day and minimum once a day even if you're not a shower twice a day kind of a person you should shower at least once a day and clean up the other times and just just be as hygienic as you can i cannot stress this enough i have bottles of sanitizers in every single room of my house even inside the house they're using the sanitizer so much and i just i cannot stress this enough just please be hygienic this is not the time to be lazy about your hygiene please 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 be hygienic so the fifth and the final thing that you should not be doing is do not ignore any signs that your body might be giving you i know how scary the idea of being in an isolation what can be but dying is scarier so if you feel like your body is showing any signs of uh, you know corona virus or if anyone around you seems symptomatic please get checked immediately because this way you're not saving just your life or the life of someone around you but you're saving several lives because eventually you're going to go out after lockdown ends and you are going to affect other people if you stay untreated so just get checked if you feel like you're being symptomatic and no matter how scary it gets in the beginning it's better for you and people around you in the longer run so do not ignore any signs that your body might be giving you do not be lazy about your health so guys that was it for today i really hope you enjoyed watching this video uh, also my social media links are going to be in the description below in case you want to follow me on instagram or twitter and i also have a blog if you want to check it out do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment below if you have any suggestions of what one should not be doing during the quarantine also please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye